morning, boys and girls. Good morning. Great to see you all this morning. Well, you know what I mean. Over the past few weeks, we've been looking at the Ten Commandments, or instructions that God gave his people many, many years ago, back in the days of the Old Testament. Instructions like not bowing down to any other gods except the one true God, keeping Sunday a very special day, and so on. Now, a few Sundays ago, Sarah and Abigail reminded us that children should honour and respect their parents, their mums and dads. Well, today we're going to be thinking about the seventh commandment or instruction, and that's all about parents keeping the promises they made, and one very special promise in particular. Now, I've got a lovely book to show you this morning. It's all about rainbows. This belongs to our granddaughter. And there's lots of different colours. It shows you how to make up the rainbow. And she loves looking at this book. Red and yellow and orange. And then we get near the back to indigo and violet. And at the end, it pops up into a lovely rainbow. With the sun just shining above it. Now, I'm sure recently you have seen a lot of rainbows about. We have one in our window at the moment, and I'm sure you have seen some in windows too. Children have been going around counting them and looking for rainbows, and maybe you have even been colouring them in at home, either with your mum and dad or with your teacher if, you're, if you are at school at the moment. But the rainbow is, at the moment, helping us to remember all the folk who are looking after us, like doctors and nurses and teachers and care workers, and everyone who is trying to keep us safe. Now, you remember that there's a rainbow mentioned in the Bible, in fact, very early in the Bible. Do you remember? Yes, in the story of Noah's Ark. When the great flood was over, God promised never again to flood the earth. And he sent a rainbow as a sign that he would keep that promise. When we do make promises, we should always really try to keep them. And I have made a little letter board here from Aaron's letters, and it says, keeping our promises. Can you remember that? It's very simple, and most of you will be able to read it. Keeping our promises. When we do make promises, we do try to keep them. Have you made any promises recently? Can you think of any? Well, I was thinking of a couple of things. Maybe if you're out with mum and dad or nana, papa or granny and granda, you try, you promise them that maybe you won't run away too far because that means that you will stay safe. Or maybe if you promise your teacher that you will play with other, other children in the playground and not leave anyone out. And that's a good thing to try to keep those promises if you can. This morning, we're thinking about the seventh commandment that God gave his people. And it's all about keeping a very special promise. Do you know who these two good looking people are? Yes, it's, it's us. us. It's a picture of us on our wedding day. Now, it was a long, long time ago before you were born even before your mummy and daddy were born. It was a very long time ago. Now, as followers of Jesus, we believe that God has a very special plan for everyone in their lives. It is part of God's plan that some people will get married and that some people won't get married, and that's okay. But when followers of Jesus do decide to get married, we get married in a church. And it's a very special day. Everyone gets dressed up, the bride, that's the lady getting married, usually wears a very special wedding dress and carries a bunch of flowers. We call it a bouquet. The groom, that is the man, he usually wears a new suit or a very special wedding suit. And later on, everyone has some lovely food. There might be a special wedding cake. And maybe a bit of a dance or a disco. Yes, everybody has great fun at a wedding. But the most important part of a wedding is the service in church. This is when the man and the woman getting married make a very special promise to God and to each other. Now, the minister of the church will ask the man and the woman if they will promise to love 
and to care for each other throughout the rest of their lives, no matter what happens. If the man gets sick, his wife promises that she will look after him. And if the woman gets sick, her husband promises to look after her. Now, it doesn't matter whether they have lots of money or if they have very little money. They still promise to look after and care for each other all through their lives. And after the man and woman getting married have made these promises, they give each other a nice shiny ring like these to remind them of the promises they have made. And the reason that followers of Jesus who get married make these promises is because God has told us to in his commandments. So, the seventh commandment, the one we've been thinking about today, says that when a man and a woman decide to get married, they are to love each other with a very special love for the rest of their lives. And the man should only love his wife in this special way. And the woman should only love her husband in this special way. So, the seventh commandment is all about husbands and wives keeping their wedding promises. Let's have a short prayer together. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for families, for mums and dads, for boys and girls, nanas and papas and grannies and grandas. We pray that you will help everyone to keep all the promises they have made. Please bless all our families and help them to stay safe and well. Amen. Thank you, boys and girls, for tuning in today. There are some extra activities for you on the church website, so maybe your mum and dad can help you get those. In the meantime, stay safe and God bless. God bless. Bye. Bye. <laughs>